everybody, Jennifer here, and in this edition of The Sewing Report, I'm back with more of my favorite fabric finds. We're starting off with a fat quarter bundle, probably one of my favorite all-time fabric lines. This is Shimmer 2. Yes, there is also a Shimmer 1, and it's by Jennifer Sampu uh, for Robert Kaufman Fabrics. This is just a beautiful collection. It's very gender neutral, very sophisticated and elegant, and it's got lots of metallics and pearl sheens, and the color palette ranges from like creams to blacks, but it also has some beautiful grays, browns, mustard, and blues. And I love this line so much, I have yardage of it, I've got a jewelry roll, and I also had a charm pack, which I did make a quilt top, but I haven't quilted it yet because I kind of messed it up. Obviously, I'm a little bit obsessed with it, and you can actually get this and most of the fabrics that I'm going to be showing you on fabric.com. I don't exclusively shop at fabric.com, but that's definitely one of my main haunts to get fabric. And obviously, I have more fabric than time to sew with all of this fabric. I don't know why I keep buying more, but it's happening. Next, I've got several prints from Carolyn Friedlander's Karkai collection for Robert Kaufman. This is one of her latest fabric lines, and I love, love, love Carolyn Friedlander fabric. Her designs are so cutting edge and so modern, but also very like gender neutral and cool. So sophisticated. I'm in love with everything she does. So in this line though, I wasn't such a fan of some of the color schemes. So when that happens in a fabric collection, instead of buying a fat quarter bundle like I did with Shimmer 2, I tend to pick and choose the colors and styles that I like. So I, w I like her bold colors. That's sort of what she's known for. She loves color. So I've already cut up this print. This is sort of like a, I'm gonna call it varsity blue. And it sort of looks very geographic in the print. It sort of looks like a map. So I've already used some of this for my retro plaid quilt, but I've got plenty of left for another project. I also have, oh, and these are all full yard cuts. When I, when I like a fabric, I tend to get at least a yard, sometimes two. So I got this uh, next print. This is the same as the blue, but it's just in sort of this really cool emerald or Kelly green. Then this print, I just thought it was a cool, like I love the colors. It's sort of like a, like a purpley pink, and then it's got some red and also purple like grid lines through it. Thought it was a cool fabric, very unique, because I got a yard of this. And then this is one of my, this is actually probably one of my favorites in the collection. Um, it sort of, it sort of looks like teeth or something and it's sort of a lime green and it also reminds me of a like the Kona Bonsai or Kona Wasabi fabrics but I love the colors and I think it'll go it coordinates very well with many of the Kona solids so if you're looking for something to mix and match with I would definitely recommend doing that last but not least these prints are from the Inda Batiks collection it's by Mia New Fabrics which is sort of like a younger more modern version of Hoffman fabrics it's a branch of Hoffman fabrics so I picked up several different prints, and I just love all of these. They're so modern and cool, and I love that they're dyed all the way through, so there's not a wrong or right side to the fabric, and also the, you don't have to worry about like the, the coloring or the dye coming off because it's solid all the way through. So that's what I love about these prints. This is sort of like an, like an aqua triangles print, very cool. And then I got this, I think I ordered two yards of this gray dot print, which is awesome too. And this is sort of like a raspberry color, but it has like these, again, more of a dot pattern. And if you're not familiar with batiks, it uses, it uses wax to kind of dye, or like, so basically the wax would be these dots and then they would dye the fabric, you know, around there and then they would remove the wax and that's what you get left. But it's a really neat process, and when I was at QuiltCon, I got to meet some of the Hoffmans, and they told me a lot about their company and about the uh, the dyeing process. They use an environmentally friendly dyeing process, which I think is awesome, and they just seem like really cool people who are very interested in shaking up the fabric world. So I also have this bubblegum pink print, and this again has dots, but they're very uh, they're more of a square shape, and I love these prints because they're they can really go with a lot of different fabrics already on. This is a teal, a teal print. And then I also have these purple dots. But I love these because they're, they're cla they're traditional, but yet they're modern. They, they don't scream modern, but they also have some very contemporary colors. 
and I'm really looking forward to working with this. I have I have you worked with the Indus Inda Batiks before, and I made a uh, baby quilt, and I just lay so beautifully, and the quality is excellent. Also, what amazes me is that the price the price for these Inda Batiks are about the same as any other quilting cotton, but I just love that on either side you get the exact the exact same design. So I just love the fact that it is a print, but it's also a solid at the same time, sort of. So you get sort of the best of both worlds. So anyways, these are my favorite fabric finds for the month of August. Tell me about some of the fabrics you're buying, anything special or new in your collection? And let me know if you have any questions. And uh, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you next time. I'm Jennifer Moore.